All right, good afternoon. We are going to let my daughter Yuki start learning how to fillet and prepare fish for sushi. She has a Japanese Inada. Inada. And uh, you might know it as a yellowtail or an amberjack. Okay, this is Yuki's first time doing this, so we'll see how she does it. So, Yuki, take it away. Okay. Now, she is going to talk in Japanese a little bit because we're in Japan and that's what they do in Japan. They talk in Japanese. But first, I have to shut up so she can do it. So the, this is a Japanese amberjack. We know it as a yellow tail. It's actually not a true tuna. Uh, they are uh, uh, in the Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and Japan. And uh, they're a pretty good fish. Uh, very good for sushi, which is what we're going to try it tonight. See how it turns out. And this is Yuki's first attempt doing this. You can probably leave that on there, you. Okay. Yeah. Now, first thing she's gonna do is we gut it, uh, we fillet it with the ribs on and take the ribs off after. So we're gonna leave the ribs on. So she first has to gut it. So Yuki, it's just slimy. like our, it is slimy. Just like our sockeye salmon, go ahead and gut it. Now, Yuki here is 11 years old, and uh, we do know some people who's kids can uh, gut and fillet fish at this age or even younger but uh yuki's doing pretty good okay for gutting a fish Okay, this fish has not been blooded. We got it out of a, off a fish market here in uh, northern Japan in the Tohoku region. So this has not been blooded. So if you're used to, uh, say, salmon fishing in Alaska where, uh, uh, you know, people blood their uh, fish uh, fairly quickly after catching it, this fish has not been blooded. Okay, which means you, you got to be careful to make sure that uh, whatever's left in the fish doesn't spill out uh, on the floor underneath you. Probably good enough. There you go. Yep, you're gonna get gooky. Yeah. It's called gutting a fish. Reach in there and pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Come on. But that's the food that he ate. Yes, and now we're gonna eat him. Ew. Oop, there's a fish in there. There's a Ew. little there's a there's a actual full size <laughs> fish head in there. Look at that. <laughs> That. Goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, we should eat that, too. No, <laughs> no, no. Wow, can that's use, a good size. Can I use that scissor? Yuki, just reach in, grab it, and start <laughs> pulling it out. I don't want to do that. I'll use this one. All right, here, I'll come over here. Mama, you might have to run the uh, water here in a little bit. Thank you. I do. Right, so if you're, uh, if you're, wow, there's a nut. Good grief. This thing was, uh, eat, look at this. That, that is a smaller yellowtail. There's two of them in here. So uh, this thing was uh, cannibalizing its own species. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and get the uh, scissors there, Yuki. And get the rest of this. So lesson number one, if you're teaching your kids how to uh, fillet and gut fish, you'll have to uh, ease them past the, uh, the icky parts, <laughs> the icky stage. And uh, there's no real way to do that other than you just... If I have it. a okay. glove, maybe. Okay. Now this thing, ha as uh, Yuki said, this thing actually just, they don't fully freeze them, but they do partially freeze them. So um, there's a... Uh, that's a blood. Yeah. That's a... Uh, okay. Now Yuki, I... Hey, go ahead and turn the water on for me so I can rinse my hand off here. That's a blood. Okay. Bring it over here and go ahead and rinse it off. This is going to be off camera for you. Never rinse with warm water a fish. Okay. Okay. So we're just rinsing out the, uh, we just gutted the fish. And like I said, two, uh, two uh, big uh, 
a big bait fish in there. So this this guy was eating good. Is that a grilled bait that they use? Uh, I don't know if that's what they were using for. Oh, there's another. There's another fish, half Ew. half eaten. So there's three of them in there. One of them half dissolved. There you go. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Yeah. So it turns out, Yuki, that you gotta kind of get over such things. But I'm gonna use a glove when I do more. All right. All right. Go ahead and turn off the water there. We'll come back over here, and there you go. Now we got a nice clean gut cat. Uh, Let's get that out of there, okay? So there's a, just like blood any vessel. fish, there's a, there's a blood vessel along its spine. Go ahead and turn the water back on. Let me get this all out of here. Okay. Now these amberjacks are pretty bony, so when you're uh, running your hand in and out of these, uh, I'm talking to Yuki here, but loud enough for the camera to pick up. So when you're cleaning out the gut cavity here, be careful that you don't run a bone into your hand or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. That's some um, yeah. nasty. It is nasty, and there are some fish, an ocean-going fish, that have some pretty nasty little uh, little germs in them. And uh, I, I, you know, have to be careful about that. So, okay, Yuki, go ahead. Let me rinse off of my hands here. Come around here and grab a... Now, Yuki, you're gonna go right underneath the fin there. And you will go, ah, you're fine. Okay, you're gonna cut right here, and you wanna come, start up here, cut down and around, and then down like that, okay? Like this? Yep. Is this already scaled? scaled? I don't think it needs to be, okay? But you do have to pop through its uh, uh, skin there a little bit. Okay, there you go. Okay, make sure you cut all the way down to the spine here until you can feel the spine. There you go, that looks like it sank down in there. Now come back around. That's felt there, little. Yeah, there you go. Okay. There you go. Now, take a stop for a second. Okay. What we're gonna do. That's still not a that's spine. Fine. Eh, that's fine, that's fine. What you're going to do is take this down here, you have to make this turn, and you're right along the spine here. Okay. I, sound the sp I hear the spine. That's not the spine, that's the ribs. Okay. And you're going to start working your way. Now make sure you don't cut that, keep that up, and just cut right down along the spine there. So, okay. Okay. Now go slow. That knife should be sharp enough, but this is not a small fish, so those ribs can be a bit tough. Okay, you gotta put pressure on it. It's not a saw, it's a knife. So sawing it is not going to help you that much. You have to put some decent pressure on it. There you go. Okay, there you go. It's starting to slide down there. Okay, now you wanna keep it, see? Okay, now look at this. See how the knife is on this side of the dorsal? That's perfect. You're sliding it right down along the spine. So go ahead, keep going. Good job. Now for you f professional fish cleaners out there, I'll ask you a little bit of uh, uh, generosity. This is uh, Yuki's first fish that she's filleting 100% uh, by herself. Obviously I'm coaching her, but I'm uh, letting her do it herself. There you go. Now go ahead and lay that open whoa. and let's see. Whoa, look at that. That's I beautiful. Think I need quite a yep, look at that. Right along, you, you can see the spine right there. Let's see if I can uh, move the camera up a little bit. Go ahead and show the camera. So look at that. You kept right along the spine. Ouch. You got be Yep. Don't, don't be careful of those uh, bones. You don't want to get poked by them. That's a good okay. meat. So we will have to fillet, uh, trim the, the ribs off, but that is beautiful. Go ahead and set that aside. This? Oh, no. No, no, the, the, the fillet. That is beautiful. Okay, now the harder part. Turn the fish around. Around? Uh, ups upside down. You're going to fillet the other side. Okay. This? Now there's a lot of different ways to do this, and none of it's t all that uh, easy, especially the first time. But go ahead and essentially... You're going to do the same thing. Okay. Um, okay. Start 
yep, underneath the pectoral. Make your cut right up here, down to the spine. Okay, get your fingers away from the blade. There you go. Okay, when you're first starting out, this is actually the harder cut. Okay, all the way down to the spine till you feel there. That looks like you're uh, touching. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now you need to cut this so off over here. Okay, now with the head still on, mm -hmm. there you go. Okay, now. Still on? Yeah, yeah, don't cut the head all the way off. Okay, you want to hold the head. Head? Okay. Okay, now let's see, you are right handed, so let's. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go this, this way. Easy. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, okay. You're doing the same thing, but from the other side. So go ahead and make that corner on the spine. I'm gonna hold up this side because it's uh, we're just getting started here. Okay. Now remember a little bit of pressure for these bigger ribs up front. Okay. Keep the knife angled down so that you're staying right along that big heavy uh, spine there. Now hold the head and just zip it off. Okay. okay. Now as you get stronger and better at this, and I give you a sharper yeah. knife. You won't have to saw at all. You just push it and slide it along. There you go, look at that. Okay, now I'm lifting it up so you can watch what you're doing. Okay, just keep pushing it. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay, good job. Okay, go ahead and hold it up here. Okay. Okay, don't work so hard that you're uh, getting out of breath, okay? Just work it right along the spine there. You should be cutting meat now. There should be no more ribs. I'm gonna move my hand out of here so you don't slice it off. Okay, there you go. Okay, go ahead and cut that off for me. <laughs> there you go. All right, now, Yuki, go ahead and show off your work. Okay, show the other one. That's actually pretty good for your first time. Okay. Smile and say hi. All right, well, we're going to finish preparing this uh, sushi, and we'll give a couple uh, pictures when we're all done. Um, but uh, please congratulate Yuki for her first filet. Good job, Yuki. You'll be ready for salmon season next year. Yay. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, Yuki's uh, cleaned up her fish a little bit. Now she's working on making sashimi. She's got some nice little, uh, nice little uh, system going on here. She got started, cleaned up the head and everything else. She's morning. making some sushi, sashimi. I might have said sushi earlier, but uh, for those of you who know the difference between sushi and sashimi, you probably caught that. So sushi actually directly means with rice. So if you go to a Japanese uh, restaurant sushi and order sushi, you'll get a little bit of raw fish or squid or, you know, cucumber, and it'll be on a pad of rice. So uh, a common mistake for those who don't know, and I should know, I've been here long enough, but uh, I, easy to misspeak, but what Yuki's making right here is sashimi which is actually just the pure raw fish. So we are not making sushi because we're not making it with rice. I think the su of sushi actually means vinegared rice. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on that, I don't know. But uh, um, yeah, so she's cutting sashimi here and she's, uh, as you can see, here's the full filet of the, the other side, but she's cut it lengthwise. And so she's just cutting one half of the Filet into sashimi chunks. Okay, a little bit of a zoomed in here. Well, this is uh, Yuki's first time doing this from a fish she filleted herself, so she's not yet a world-class sushi chef, <laughs> but uh, she is on her way, and uh, if you uh, give this video a like and a comment, then when she is world-famous for her 
specialty sashimi. She uh, can uh, reach back and give you a shout out for uh, thanking you for believing in her from the beginning. Isn't that right, Yuki? Ha ha! <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Future world famous sashimi chef. There you go. And she is working on her presentation as well. We got a nice little fall uh, fall motif on her uh, plate here. And uh, these flowers that are on here, I actually know absolutely nothing about. But you can buy them here in uh, Japan and uh, add them to soups and stuff. And it makes a nice little display. Yuki, what is this called, flower called? Um, kiku. Kiku. All right. So if uh, depending on how good your microphone and uh, speaker is, you might have heard that uh, round robin around the room as everybody whispered the name to each <laughs> other all the way around. Finally came back to Yuki and Kiku. So it's a uh, Kiku flower. So um, makes a nice little offset, a little bit of color. Um, and that is a fall uh, flower that you pick here. So it's something that you can see in the fall here in Japan. Reminds Japanese people of the fall. Okay. As we have our uh, wasabi. lovely assistant adding wasabi to the plate. Okay. One thing that uh, you'll find here in Japan when you live here is uh, the emphasis on the seasons. Okay, The rhythm, the natural rhythm of nature. Actually very important to the Japanese culture, whether it's their, uh, their festivals, their matsuris, uh, even their, uh, their poetry. Um, the haiku. Um, is uh, to be a proper haiku cue actually has to address in some form uh, the season that it was created for. Um, not necessarily everybody uh, uh, who pra every practitioner of haiku uh, follows that, but certainly the traditional traditionalists uh, will do that. So uh, you know whether it's their festivals, whether it's their poetry. Um, or even their their dishes, you know. This is a fall plate. Um, while uh, eating here at home, nobody's going to care if we use this plate in the spring. If we have a Japanese guest over, uh, I, I would I would guess that my uh, family would never use this plate in the spring because it's not a spring plate. Um, so that is something that uh, it's it's a subtle thing, um, but very important in the Japanese culture. So this plate, a fall plate, fall flowers. And then, of course, the yellowtail itself is, uh, the, the yellowtail fish itself is caught in the fall. So uh, um, this should bring a smile to, to your face as, as basically the fall harvest season is fully represented in this sashimi plate. It's called Aki. It's called Aki in the fall, yep. And my daughter is smiling at me. And what you can't see is I keep glancing over at my Japanese wife to make sure I'm not saying anything too horridly off. Um, she'll, she'll shoot daggers at me when I say things wrong. Um, so uh, if, I, if I gently correct myself, it's because she's not so gently correcting me uh, off camera here. Uh, so there you go. Gave you a little bit. This is a beautiful, beautiful little yellow tail. I like this red part. That looks pretty. It does. Reminds you of the red leaves of autumn. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, kick uh, kick this video off, and uh, we'll uh, we'll revisit this when she's all done with her uh, with her presentation. Good. And there we go, Yuki's yellowtail sashimi dish. We have a full plate of sashimi all the way around with the kuki flowers and a little bit of wasabi because you can't eat Japanese food without wasabi. <laughs> Yuki, congratulations. You've done your first filet all by yourself.